Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 557, Lung Physical Findings. Now before we move on to talking about this, let's define some words which will help us understand this section a bit better. So we're going to start off talking about percussion. What is percussion? Percussion is a method of tapping on a surface to determine the underlying structure. It is used in clinical examination of the thorax and abdomen. What does a dull sound in percussion indicate? A dull sound indicates that there is a presence of a solid mass under the surface. What does a hyperresonant sound in percussion indicate? A hyperresonant sound in percussion indicates that there is a hollow, air-containing structure under the surface. What is fremitus? Fremitus is a palpable vibration with low frequency vocalization. So basically in this, a physician is touching the patient to feel their vibration when they make some low frequency vocalizations, such as by saying the number 99. So you could try it on yourself by saying the word 99 while you're holding your chest and you will feel the vibration. So that's basically what fremitus is. What is tracheal deviation? Tracheal deviation is the shifting of the trachea that occurs from unequal intrathoracic pressure within the chest cavity. What is pleural effusion? Pleural effusion is a buildup of fluid between the layers of tissue that lines the lung and chest cavity. Describe all the physical findings observed in pleural effusion. In pleural effusion, there would be decrease in breath sounds, a dull percussion, and decrease in fremitus. What is atelectasis? Atelectasis is defined as the collapse or closure of the lung resulting in reduced or absent gas exchange. What physical findings are observed in atelectasis? Physical finding observed with atelectasis includes decrease in breath sounds, dull percussion, decrease in fremitus, as well as tracheal deviation towards the site of lesion. So basically it has everything as pleural effusion plus the tracheal deviation towards the site of lesion. What is spontaneous pneumothorax? Spontaneous pneumothorax is a collection of air or gas in the space between lungs and the chest that collapses the lung and prevents it from inflating completely. What physical findings are observed in spontaneous pneumothorax? In spontaneous pneumothorax, there is a decrease in breath sounds, there is hyperresonant percussion, decrease in fremitus, and there is tracheal deviation towards the site of lesion. What is tension pneumothorax? Tension pneumothorax is the progressive buildup of air within the pleural space. This usually happens due to lung laceration, which allows air to escape in the pleural space but not to return. So this air builds up and ends up collapsing the lung. What physical findings are observed in tension pneumothorax? In tension pneumothorax, just like spontaneous pneumothorax, you have the decrease in breath sounds, hyperresonant percussion, decrease in fremitus, but the only difference between the two is that there is tracheal deviation away from the site of lesion. What physical findings are observed in lobar pneumonia and pulmonary edema? In lobar pneumonia and pulmonary edema, you would hear crackles on inspiration. There would also be dull percussion and increase in fremitus. So remember, anytime you see an increase in fremitus, always think a consolidation process. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.